Following the excitement caused by the emu's apparent laying of a golden egg, winter's approach caused a chill to grip the high country air. The man prepared to journey south to the warmer plains, taking with him his prize bull. It was my opinion that it was also time that the Brumbies should head in the same general direction. Feels like an early winter coming on, Thara. Shouldn't you think about heading south? It's safer to stay up here, Benny, away from humans. What about food? I know a few sheltered spots where the snow doesn't get too deep. We can dig for grass. <coughs> Wombat coming through. Wombat coming through. Hi, Wombat. Haven't seen you for a while. What's up? No time for idle chatter. Step aside. Step aside. Wombat coming through. But how are Mrs. Wombat and the little ones? Are they behaving themselves? Ouch! Out of the way! Out of the way! The only thing I want is to get something to eat before the snow starts falling. There's no doubt about old Wombat. He'll never change. Uh-oh. First snowflakes for the season. for shelter. That was the man's prize bull. He must have escaped from the yard. Well, that means the man will come looking for him. You're right, Boon Boon. We'd best move to higher ground till the man finds him. Are you okay, Benny? Uh, yes, I'm okay, I think. <laughs> Time for childish games, Karawong. What have you got to report? That I have a cold, sire. Caught, as you may well know, in your service. A report. 
report, Karawong. The report. The, the, <coughs> the country is spudded in a pattern of heavy dough. What? The country is spudded in a pattern of the heavy dough. What? <laughs> in a mantle of heavy snow. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Serenity, that's what I like about the high country. Um, yep, peace and serenity, that's what we both like about the high country, don't we, eh? Yep, you're right. That's why it's great to be back. Although it's a bit chillier this time of year, it's much more peaceful and serene. You wouldn't believe the multitude of noisy animals they have down south. <laughs> Snorting pigs, braying donkeys, crowing roosters, bleeding sheep, mooing cows, <laughs> honking geese. <laughs> yep, and roaring bulls. I... Is what's a wild bull doing on the loose in the high country? Definitely no right to be here. He should be driven out. Any animal that could do that would be a hero. But then, of course, he may just leave by himself. And who would know the difference if I said I defeated him in combat and sent him on his way? Then I'd be the hero. <laughs> I might just follow his tracks and see where he goes. Miserable winter here again. Snow and ice. Hunger. Every yummy morsel buried under tons of that white stuff. Oh, what wouldn't I give for a... Ah, ah. What was that? Hmm. Oh, blast! Where is it? A mopoke's eyes are better to see. I have a feeling that worm will soon belong to me. What? Oh, gone again? I'll get that half-baked excuse for a piece of string if it's the last thing I... What? Mopoke! Give me back my worm! I saw it first! One of these days, Mopoke, you're gonna go too far and pow! You'll get it right in a kiss on Hey! My, that was the largest cow I ever saw. Have you ever heard such a roar? Some cow. Crazy, if you ask me. Oh, the boss will want to know about this. A crazy cow on the loose in the snow. Now, where did that delicious worm of mine go? What? A bull. It's escaped.
Shut up, you empty headed egghead. <laughs> high country in winter. Who'd want to be anywhere else? I can think of at least one creature, Boon Boon. Look down there. <laughs> it's the bull. Pretty cold and miserable from the look of him. He's used to life in the warmer pastures on the lowlands. This early snow must have caught the man unawares. The bull's only hope of survival is to be returned to the man. But I don't think he'll find him up here. And that stubborn creature wouldn't follow us anywhere. It's going to be up to me to lead the man to the ball. <laughs> It's too cold to stand around listening to your idle chatter. Ah, well, that's the way it is, isn't it, your frozen frost bitterness? The older we get, the more we feel the cold. <laughs> oh. I'm not getting old, Karawong, even if you are. Now, what have you got to report? A ah, crazy cow on the loose, sire. Crazy cow? What are you talking about? if this is another of your wild goose chases. Oh, no wild goose chase, mighty sire, I promise you. And I've got the bruises to prove it. Great mad thing it was. Bloodshot eyes, a ring through its nose, puffing and huffing, cruel and fierce beyond belief, rampaging about the high country like a... All right, Karawong, I get the idea. Where is it now? Where? Well, I, I don't know. It went over me like an express train, then took off to who knows where. Then get airborne, Karawong, and don't come back till you do know where. Aye, aye, your imperial uniqueness. Right away. No sign of him anywhere, boy. We need to pick up his tracks before more snow falls. That looks like the Silver Brumby, or his ghost. you in the way. Typical, typical. I'm following the trail of a crazy-looking big creature with huge horns and a bad temper. Haven't seen it, have you? Seen it? Are you kidding? <laughs> Flaming thing nearly drowned me, which is precisely why I'm headed in the opposite direction. And if you were smart, you'd do the same. The high country isn't safe with that brood around wombat. I intend driving it out. As a selfless service to the creatures of the high country. Aye. Eh? Ho, 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 ho. Wombat coming through. Out of me way, Arrow. <laughs> Some creatures. <laughs> Could that crazy bull have got to? Just as well it's a dark thing against a snowy landscape, or there'd be no chance of. Ah, ha! 
Well, well, well. He's cooled down quite a bit since we last met. I think I'll warm him up with a bit of revenge. <laughs> Bless you, sire. I found him, your self for sure footedness over by the ram's head. The ram's head? Tower is territory. Trust him to hang around with a crazy cow. Mm, yes, that's right, mighty Brolder. Tower is not too fussy with the company he keeps. That imbecile arrow, that dopey old kangaroo, that silly boon boon. Huh? That's my daughter you're talking about! What? Oh, Boon Boon? Uh, did I say Boon Boon? <laughs> I meant that silly Mrs. Dingo, of course, sire. That's enough out of you, Karawong. Now lead the way to that crazy cow. Right away, El Supremo. <laughs> The bull's tracks are headed towards the ram's head. With a bit of luck, he'll bump into Thara and give that smart Alec the thrashing he so richly deserves. Arrow, what's this? Following a track? If I were you, I'd turn and go back. Oh, g'day, Mopoke. I'm not going back anywhere. I'm going to make sure this bull is driven from the high country. I've seen that bull very brave and strong. For you to attempt such a feat would be wrong. Brave and strong? Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, Mopoke, you underestimate my strength and courage. I can make mincemeat of that overblown cow. No sweat. No sweat? No sweat? If you tackle that beast arrow, you'll be needing a vet. Oh, that's the greatest load of rubbish I ever heard. And I've had enough of you, you stupid bird. Bye. Mincemeat? Oh, that silly horse will be knocked off his feet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before he can collect his wits. <laughs> oh, mighty Brolger, I felt that.
was a magnificent charge, El Supremo. You really showed that crazy cow who's boss. Fancy that dummy thinking he could take you on. Not a brain in its head, if you ask me. Talk about... Ah! Oh! Help! <coughs> Help! What about somebody digging me out? <coughs> Help! <coughs> <coughs> Never believe it. Saved by the Silver Brumby. What's wrong, mighty bullbasher? Up and at him, sire! <laughs> ah, bless you, sire! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha, my fine beauty. <laughs> Thanks, ghost horse. Thanks, filly. That's one I owe you. <laughs> the last thing the man would ever have expected was to be saved by two Brumbies. But he was now free to take his prize bull south to warmer pastures. Winter, however, is a hazardous time in the high country, and there are more dangers to be faced yet. Where is everybody? What is around us, the big things, like the territory we live in, its moods and joys and terrors, and the little things, where we eat, who we see, who we like and don't like very much. <laughs> what we do on a regular basis, so used to it that we don't even think about it, until we might have to leave it all behind, go somewhere new. Find out about the moods of a new territory, meet new friends, start new habits. Arrow was spending the afternoon trying to decide whether he'd been a bit too bold when he told Gunda he would accompany her on her journey south. Arrow, Arrow, so forlorn. You've not looked so sad since the day you were born. You'd be sad too, Mopoke, if you were me. If I were you, I wouldn't be silly. I'd make friends with a local filly. But no, not Arrow, had to boast. Forgot about things he'd missed the most. How did you read my thoughts? <laughs> yeah, well, I had to. I mean, who else could she ask? Who else is brave and strong enough to do it? It's a long way, South. Lots of dangers along the way. Sarah? No way. <laughs> Too selfish. Has to be me. In the morning, Goondra will come up to me and beg me to accompany her, and I'll go. 
Leave my friends, the place where I was born, and just go! Arrow, arrow, your mind's so narrow. Sometimes I think of the brains of a sparrow. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's all right for you. I'd like to see how brave you were if you had to make the choice. <laughs> arrow, arrow, think, be wise. You'll be all right. You'll acclimatise. <laughs> There are rumours of the ghost horse being seen again, Echo. We gotta check it out. be very annoyed if you didn't. And we missed you. But I must go back tomorrow. There's news to spread about you and family to look after. I know. I will come back, Gunda. Really, I will. When I'm needed. And I'll be a good leader. Sarah will teach me and I'll do my duty. I know you will, little one. You'll make us all very proud. But now I'm going to get some rest. I've got a big journey tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know that I can help you, Arrow. I don't know much about the South. Oh, anything? All I know I've heard from cousins. It's flatter down there. No mountains and big rivers, and it doesn't snow in winter. And there are lots of different creatures to those that live around here. <clears throat> Do you think I should go? Nobody will tell me. I've spoken to so many. That's probably because it's not up to them, Arrow. They can't make the decision for you. Whatever the future brings, it's in your hands. I suppose so. Thanks, Mrs Dingo. But all this thinking really hurts. Good luck. Wombat, are you in there? Oh, nobody home. Oh, you'll do, stink. Oh, do, do you reckon there's a mean brumby like the Brolga down south? Only bigger and stronger? Of course I can beat the Brolga, goes without saying. But if there's someone bigger, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to go if it's going to be too hard. What do you reckon? Hey! How do you like that? The manners of some creatures. <laughs> the manners of some creatures is right. Blocking me way into me own home. Wombat? Out of me way. Out of me way. Wombat, I'm thinking of going south. And I'm thinking of going to bed. Out of my way. If I go... Will you miss me? I'll miss you like a hole in the head. Master, master! <laughs> Look down there! That dumbbell arrow has invaded your space! What? <laughs> what? Where am I? <laughs> oh no! The frog is hurt!
Who'd have believed it? Saved from the brogger by the man. I'm not safe anywhere. <laughs> oh, I hate to admit it, Farron, but I guess all this will be yours one day. And if it's yours, it can't be mine. Thank you so much for your help. Without you, I would have searched for Eurala forever and maybe never found him. Now I won't have to return with no news. Speaking of Eurala, where is he? He should be here to see you off. Well, we sort of said goodbye yesterday. Maybe this is his way of showing me that he's independent now. Maybe. Or perhaps he just couldn't bear the final goodbye. <laughs> that could be it too. Just give him my love, Boon Boon. And tell him I can't wait to see him when he's ready to rejoin us. Well, thanks again, everyone. I'd better make a start. Mm. Arrow's not here either. Is he going to keep you company on the journey south, Gunda? Mm. I thought about it long and hard. I got here without any trouble. I think I can manage at home by myself. Perhaps Arrow came to the same conclusion. He's strong and fast, but from what I've seen, I don't know how well he'd fit in. He's... Maybe someday, when he's more mature. Yes, that's it. Bye. Ow! You come along to say goodbye, and the someone you come along to say goodbye to is standing in the way. I do apologise, Wombat. Thank you, but I really must go. Yeah, that'd be right, that'd be right. Just because I turn up, you take off. It's not like that at all, Wombat. And you know it. Now say your farewell and let her get on her way. Oh, bye. Bye, Wombat. We will meet again. Bye. Bye. Safe journey. Arrow, Arrow, still forlorn. Haven't you noticed it's way past dawn? Hey? What? If you want to follow your heart, Get a move on. Make a start. Past dawn? Gunda! Oh, I must have overslept! See you, Mopok! <laughs> yeah, Benny, where is she? Gunda? Yeah. Who else? She's already left, Arrow. Gone? She went alone? I thought she needed an escort. Um, uh, when you weren't here, she thought you must have, um, changed your mind. Oh, well, if she just waited, I could have told her that I'd spent all night thinking about it. And I decided I really want to go south. Face new challenges, see different things. Perhaps you didn't convince her of your outstanding qualities, Arrow. Oh, do you reckon? No, I tried. You did, Arrow. Maybe I should go after her. Yeah, that's it. Good idea. Show her your resourcefulness and hear for yourself what she thinks. Exactly what I was thinking, Benny. Gotta go, guys. My future awaits me elsewhere. And so does a lovely filly. Good luck, Thera. See you, guys! Why did you encourage him, Benny? <laughs> you heard what Gunda said about him. Because it's not our place to tell him the facts. Probably wouldn't believe us even if we did. Exactly, Boon Boon. He must hear it from her, as unpalatable as that might be. He may actually convince her to change her mind. Do you really think so? It's unlikely, but he'll learn something just by trying. Hmm, these tracks are fresh, Echo. <laughs> patience, boy, patience. <laughs> Sarah! 
My sister, Gunda. Where is she? She's gone, Urella. Back home. She can't have. I haven't said goodbye properly. She waited, Urella, but thought you were showing her how independent you are. But I was going to surprise her down by the bottom of the ram's head. She might have turned down the track to the river. Remember I showed you? Oh, I forgot. Now you'll think I'm stupid and I won't see my sister. Nobody thinks you're stupid, Urella. Now why don't you go after her? She won't have gone far and you can say goodbye then. That's a good idea, Urella. Tell you what, I'll come with you. Mm, thanks, Thara. But this is something I've got to do by myself. Right. Off you go then. We'll wait here till you get back. She must be around here somewhere. Cooey! Oh, she can't have gone too far. She must be... Ah! There she is! Gunda! Wait for me! confused. That was one of the first things Thara taught me. I should have been looking for landmarks. Can't stop now or I'll never catch up. I'll find Gunda. I can do it. A lone foal could lead us to the herd. Get up, boy. I missed you. You should have waited. Arrow, it's... You shouldn't have come. I'm quite all right. I... There, there, there. It'll be all right now. Arrow's here to protect you. No time to lose. Let's go. Listen, Arrow, I... Listen? I'm listening, Goonda. That's me, Arrow. <laughs> all ears. Catch the slightest sound. Alert. Swift. It's how I survive. I'm sure it is, but I don't need any... Don't need a lesson in how to survive. But a filly like you, well, you need someone strong and brave, you know, in case of any unexpected trouble. That's just what I don't need. Don't need unexpected trouble? Who does? That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, tell, tell, tell you what, I'll gallop ahead a little, scout out the way. Oh, really, Arrow? No I... need to thank me. Back soon. Oops. <laughs> Arrow, are you all right? Look, I really don't need any help. <laughs> no sweat, Goonda. I'm as good as gold. Back soon. <laughs> Arrow's always in such a hurry. Pity his mind is all in a flurry. Scamper, Scoot, don't think, just scurry. There's a horse that's truly a worry. <laughs> You're right, Mopoke. But what are you doing here? I miss your departure, if truth's to tell. So I flew along to say farewell. Thanks, Mopoke. But I wish I could get someone else to say farewell. He just doesn't get any hints. Hmm. Everything seems safe. I'll go back and get Goonda. don't know what to do. Arrow's a problem, there is no doubt. He can be such a bore when he hangs about. Gunda, I found you at last. Urala! Yeah! Urala, the man! Look out!
boy. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of you, smart Alec. <laughs> leading the man away like that. Bravery to the point where you were almost captured. Huh? It would be an honor to have you escort me south to the land of my father. <laughs> I'm glad we had a chance to say goodbye properly. So am I. Now you'd better get back and I'd better be on my way again. Yes, well, there's just one problem. Problem? I kind of lost my way. I don't know how to get back. Oh, no trouble there, Yorella. I know this high country better than anyone. Better than Thaura? Thaura? <laughs> oh, much better than him. <laughs> Come on, back to the stream. I'll point you in the right direction. There you go, Yorella. Just follow the stream to the next bend, look north, and you'll see the ram's head. Just aim for that. Thanks, Arrow. Thanks, sis. Bye again, and I'll see you both soon. <laughs> Bye. Safe journey, little brother. OK, Goonda. Let's head south. <laughs> <laughs> So Arrow finally won the day. And for the time being, the friendship of a beautiful, intelligent filly. One filly leaves the high country, but soon another will return. A golden filly, long gone. Return to renew her friendships and find out for herself if there is truth in the rumors she has heard on the plains. <laughs>